All right, good evening, everyone. For those of you who do not know me, my name is BJ Burchess, and I'm the Chief Operating Officer of the USCAA. I'm joined here tonight by fellow National Office staff members, Nate Gertis, our Assistant Director of Championships and Marketing, and working behind the scenes on tonight's show is Jenna Petrucci, our Assistant Director of Compliance and Member Services. And we would like to welcome you to the 2022 United States Collegiate Athletic Association Women's Division II Soccer National Championship Selection Show. During tonight's show, we will unveil the top teams in women's soccer, their seeds, and the pools. Co-hosting tonight's event with me will be Nate Gertis, and I'd like to turn it over to him at this time. Thanks, BJ. And now, we begin our selections with the top seed in the 2022 field. Headlining the field for this year's USCAA Women's Division II Soccer National Championship will be the defending national champion SUNY ESF from Syracuse, New York. The Lady Oaks are 7-3-3 three and three in their 2022 campaign, being undefeated in conference play and winning the HBIC. Goalkeeper Helena O'Shea has only allowed 12 goals this season with a 2.4 goals against average through 13 games. Leading the Lady Oaks, Jessica Bolton with nine goals, Abby Thomas with five, and Mackenzie Konazuski. Also, Ryan Hesch has added four goals on the year. With only three seniors, and all leading goal scorers being underclassmen, that's a sign that the Lady Oaks are here to stay. They are led by head coach, Mandy Olinsky. Our second spot in the women's soccer tournament will go to Paul Smith's College from Paul Smith's New York. The Lady Bobcats finished the regular season at an impressive 9-0-5, going 4-0-1 in games at home, and 3-0-2 and in conference play on their way to the Yankee Small College Conference title. A pair of sophomores, Samantha Severing and Haley Gates, led the way back to Virginia Beach with nine goals apiece this season. A third sophomore, Katrine Rolfs, was right behind them with six goals and two assists on the season. Paul Smith's defense is in form as well, helping senior goalie Anna Thrasher to a goals against average of 0.67, allowing only nine goals while making 83 saves in 14 games this year. As a team, the Lady Bobcats were able to outscore their opponents 39 to nine in a dominating season. Paul Smith will be led back to this year's championship by head coach Bailey Walton. The number three seed in this year's tournament We'll go to Penn State Monalto from Monalto, Pennsylvania. The Lady Lions are eight and six overall and have racked up key wins over Division II USCA competitors. Some notable players from Monalto include freshman defender Madison Everly, who has scored nine goals and contributed three assists. Also, a big time player is junior forward Avery Deal who has scored eight goals and contributed two assists on the season. Along with a great offensive attack, Monalto's freshman keeper, Kaya Maurer, has added 63 saves and an overall save percentage of .733. Penn State Monalto is led by head coach, Mary Miller. Coming in fourth in the field will be Southern Maine Community College from South Portland, Maine. Finishing the regular season campaign at 6-3-4 and 2-2-1 and and in conference play, the Seawolves make their return to the national tournament for the first time since 2019. Southern Maine is led by freshman midfielder Chanel McDonough, who has eight goals, sophomore Paige St. Pierre with six goals and two assists, and sophomore Mackenzie Farnham with five goals and three assists on the season helping the Seawolves to outscore their opponents 39 to 17. Freshman goalkeeper Grayson Soldati was able to tally 54 saves and 11 contests played. Southern Maine Community College 
is coached by Ethan Wells. In the fifth seed in this year's field belongs to another team from the Yankee Conference. And it is NHTI from Concord, New Hampshire. The Lynx last made a trip to Virginia Beach in 2018 and entered this year's tournament with a 7-4 and four overall record. They are led by freshman forward Megan Lancaster, who has 17 goals and six assists on the year. Another notable player is freshman Eva Lavalley, who has nine goals and brings a spark on offense for NHTI. The Lynx have also received strong midfield play on the backs of Piper Flood, Kaylee Selby, and Grace Bradley. In net for NHTI has been sophomore Madison Lima and freshman Gracie Boucher, combining for 59 total saves. NHTI is led by head coach Heidi Crockett. This brings us to our sixth and final seed in the field, which will be a contingent bid and will go to either the PSUAC champion, if not Mon Alto, or Albany College of Pharmacy and Health Sciences. The PSUAC championship game will be played between Penn State Mon Alto and Penn State Brandywine tomorrow at noon. ACPHS is 7-3-2 on the season and are led by senior forward Julia Romer, who has scored 20 of the team's 44 goals and has been a force on the offensive side of the ball. In goal is Michaela Brodzinski, who has 38 saved and posted a 1.29 goals against average this season. The head coach for Albany College of Pharmacy and Health Sciences is Jonathan Woodrow. Now let's take a look at Brandywine, who is 8-6 and six overall this year. Some notable players for Brandywine include Zoe Lineman, a sophomore defender who has 9 goals and 20 points this season. Brandywine also has Gia Citroni, a junior forward who has put up eight goals and six assists on the season. And along with a great offense, Brandywine's Damareste Darvilma, the sophomore goalkeeper, had 94 saves this year and an overall save percentage of 723. Penn State Brandywine would be led into the tournament by head coach Don DeCrisio. With the teams now decided, let's take a look at the pools. The USCA Championship features a six-team modified FIFA-style pool play. The winner of each pool advances to the national title game. In Pool A is the number one seed, SUNY ESF, the number four seed, Southern Maine Community College, and the number five seed, NHTI. Pool B will consist of the number two seed, Paul Smith's College, the number three seed, Penn State Mont Alto, and the number six seed, either Penn State Brandywine, or Albany College of Pharmacy and Health Sciences. The 2022 USCAA Soccer National Championships will take place November 10th through the 14th at the Princess Anne Athletic Complex and Virginia Beach Sportsplex in Virginia Beach, Virginia. All of our participating teams will be lodged at the Virginia Beach Oceanfront with amazing sunrise views and plenty of restaurants and activities in the area. If you're interested in traveling to support your team, you can log on to the USCAA tournament website at www.uscaafallchampionships.com for all ticketing, lodging, and travel information. We're also excited to announce that we'll be returning to an in-person All-American banquet hosted at Dave & Buster's in Virginia Beach. This unique experience will celebrate both the athletic and academic achievements of our student athletes. For any fans who wish to attend, you can purchase tickets online at the Fall Championship Week website. If you can't make the trip, don't forget that you can watch all the games live online by visiting the USCAA.com and clicking Watch Live, or by going directly to the USCAA Sports Network at USCAASportsNetwork.com. Games can be streamed for only $8 a game during pool play, $10 during the championship game, or for just $20, you can get an all-access pass, giving you every game of the entire tournament in both Division I and Division II women's soccer. The USCAA's Fall Championship Week website, USCAAFallChampionships.com, serves as your one-stop shop for all live stats, results, schedules, and other items related to tournament play. Please make sure to follow us on social media 
which will keep you up to date on all the action throughout the week. We'd like to thank you for joining us for the 2022 USCAA Women's Division II Soccer Selection Show. And we look forward to seeing you in Virginia Beach next week. Thank you, everyone, and have a great night.